It is a, an honor and a privilege for me and for the Anderson delegation as a whole. I know Brian and Courtney White attend this church as well, and Miss Thayer and I came over this morning, and we have several others who wanted to be here, but they couldn't be here. But I talked to Governor McMaster, who wanted us to present you uh, with the Order of the Palmetto, which is the highest civilian honor in South Carolina. The work that clandestine services and classified uh, people do to, to make our country a better place and to keep our troops safe is immensely important. And I know that it, it wasn't too long ago that all that was declassified. I can't imagine the thousands of lives that you protected by your work. Paul Brown is actually the person who came to us and talked to us about you, Miss Jewel, and he sent me over just the preliminary his writings of just the start of the interview, and I couldn't wait to meet you in person. Congratulations, this is the highest honor, and it is very well deserved, and we are so proud to have you in our community. I had no idea any of this was gonna take place, and I am shocked, and I feel very undeserving. Talk about the difference you made when you came home after you'd done your code breaking in Washington. A lot of people were interested, and that surprised me that anyone would be that interested in the things that happened so long ago. But I was happy to bring them up to date because I don't want them to think that the World War II was an easy blow, because it wasn't. It was hard for all of us. We really did try to do everything we could, and I think we did, from what I have learned. And, and you know, none of this information came out to us until that book came out, Code Girls. I didn't even know information had been released, so I couldn't talk about it. 